Yay, more aliens were sighted. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Two UFO-like objects have been sighted in the Arizona dust storm that just recently happened. The two objects were sighted by a CNN helicopter and it was broadcast live as it was being filmed. So this has got to be one of the most credible UFO sightings ever. Here's what CNN got on tape. And now I'm going to zoom up on the objects so you can see the shape of them. And if you look at the first one that flies off, it looks like something lit up behind it, like some sort of jets or something to propel it off. Because it just zoomed right the fuck out. The sandstorm had 70 mile per hour winds and it was 100 miles wide. And airplanes were grounded in the area where this was happening, so there should have been nothing flying in the sky. Except for CNN's helicopter, because they're rebels like that. I honestly believe this could have been aliens. It's either aliens or government officials trying to test some new spaceship that they're developing to explore space or something, which would be cool too. But there has been so many sightings in the world, some of them have to be real. That's just my opinion. And now I'm not saying every single person who sees a UFO is right. I know a lot of these people are probably full of shit, but there's so many people that say they see UFOs that some of these people would have to be telling the truth. I think it's very naive for us as humans to believe that there is nothing out there. How close-minded could you be to think that there's so many different galaxies in this universe, and you think that we're the only people that can sustain life in our galaxy? Yeah, that's bullshit. And I'm not even saying for sure these aliens visited us. I'm just saying, out there somewhere, I know there's another planet, even if it's just a bunch of humans on another planet, planet doing the same thing. It's just retarded to think that there's not. We found water on Mars and fungus. That right there just proves that life can be sustained on another planet. I just hope that if aliens do come visit us, they're gonna be friendly, which is really a lot to ask because you know if aliens visited the wrong people, they would just get shot at or killed because some people just can't accept new things and it's fucking stupid that they can't. They're like, holy shit, look at that weird monster. Let's fucking kill it and take its head and put it on my wall. You know what? I don't even hope that they don't kill us. I just hope that they know who to kill and who not to kill because I would never harm an alien life. I would be fucking psyched if some alien visited me. I'd be like, dude, pull up a chair. Let's talk about your life. I want to know what's out there. I'd roll a joint for him and he'd be like, oh, this shit is weak and he'd roll some space weed and get me fucked out of my mind. If any aliens are watching my video right now, I just want you to know if you're ever having trouble with government officials on Earth and you can't get back to your home planet, you got a safe house here at my house. You can come visit me. You can come to my house and I will hide you from the government officials and I'll be all like, aliens, what the fuck are you talking about? You're crazy. And then we'll just chill and play video games until you get home. And I promise we won't play any video games where you kill aliens. Because that might be a little twisted for you. And if aliens come, please, people, don't be racist to aliens, all right? They got ray guns. If you're racist to an alien, he'll cap your ass. I don't want some alien slave revolution going on. That would be fucked up, okay? If aliens come, we have to treat them like equals. We should probably treat them like superiors because they're obviously more superior than us if they can get to our planet and we can't get to their planet. So if aliens come, please, people, don't fucking freak out and try and kill them. Wait till they attack you. You gotta, you gotta think first, okay? Play it Doctor Who rules. And if hostile aliens do come and attack us, I just hope we have someone like the Doctor to come save our asses. And if you don't know who the Doctor is, it's the Doctor from Doctor Who. And if you don't know what Doctor Who is, then you're living in a fucking closet and you need to get out more. Or stay in more and watch more TV. Yeah, that's probably, that would help. And after the Doctor's done saving the world, my dream is to become his new little girly thing. And he'll take me around the universe and I'll do YouTube videos from his TARDIS. What, he's had a few guys over the years. It's not impossible. He can take my girlfriend. Yeah, he can have my girlfriend and I'll be like, I'll be like Rory. I'll just be there. I don't care. As long as I get to see the universe. Apparently this isn't the first time UFOs have been sighted near natural disasters. I hope that these aliens aren't causing the natural disasters. Huh? Are you... 
Huh? Are you doing this to our planet? But you never know, CNN could have got these aliens put in jail. How do we know? It might be illegal for aliens to travel to other galaxies. They might be breaking some space laws. They get sighted on our planet and everyone's like, that's bleep and blop. What the fuck? They're not supposed to be on Earth, they're supposed to be in school. And they get fucking murdered. I don't, I don't, or executed. I don't know what the laws are like in space. Just imagine they're a lot harsher because they're supposed to be smarter. I think us as humans, we're doing pretty good though, you know? It would be awesome if aliens just could come and give us some of their technology and help us out. I'm sure they've done that in the past. My theory is that aliens came during ancient Egyptian times where everybody was like, how the fuck did the Egypts build that shit? Well, shit, maybe aliens came and taught them how to build it. They're like, this is the best way. We want to help you accelerate your life. And now they just can't touch us because we all we did was make guns and start wars and shit. And they're like, that's not what we wanted. Those damn monkeys went crazy. I just hope that I am alive when we make first contact with aliens because I would love to just be able to meet an alien and be like, hey, what's up? So I want to know, if the doctor from Doctor Who came and picked you up in his TARDIS, where would you want to go? And if you're not following me, the doctor is a time-traveling alien and the TARDIS is his time machine. And if you could go anywhere in space and time with the doctor, where would you go? Would you go in the past? Would you go in the future? Would you go to a new planet? Just tell me where the fuck you'd go. Leave a comment or a video response and let me know.